Tony, I like just the, the confidence that, that a victory can do like that. Can you just give us the, bring us into the dressing rooms afterwards and, and the emotion that was felt by the playing unit? Yeah, mate, uh, it's been a while. You know, it's, uh, we lost the last three games and we needed um, that win, you know, to get us back and, you know, the, the boys were pretty happy and, um, you know, we were happy for guys like, you know, Ellen and Hoch and um, obviously Filetti. It's our first game, you know, it's uh, special to get a win and especially against the, the best in the world and um, uh, now it's time to recover and um, do it again this week. Just, um, we, we, we know that Quaid has dominated the headlines. There's lots of really special stories amongst them. But, Taniela, you um, you looked up to Quaid growing up. Um, I'm not sure about you, lady, but can you tell us, having Quaid come into the team, was there an added sense of confidence and belief that he gave the team? And, and was it the pick, you, like, pick me up kind of thing that you guys needed? Yeah, uh, we were surprised when... He got named in the team on, on Thursday. We know what Quaid can do, and you know uh, we've all seen that. And uh, we know he can, you know, do something special on the field. And uh, he did on uh, yesterday, and uh, that's how we got the win. And um, you know, he's been good for us. You know, he's changed a lot. And um, uh, yes, he, I looked up to him, and he was a big part of me coming to the Reds because um, you know I used to stay up all night uh, watching him. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was good. Now, coming on for those, those last 30 minutes, um, a lot of people talk about that penalty goal, but it was that, that pressure from that last scrum that really sort of turned that momentum and allowed Nick to get that turnover. Can you talk us through what was going through that, your forward pack's head in those last 30 seconds? Well, the, the two scrum before that scrum was, um, we kind of went backwards and um, we came together and we wanted to, um, you know, come up with a plan or what we need to do to, you know, we needed to get the... Um, that scrum and you know I think Filetti or Hoops was um, telling us if there's one scrum we need to win this year it's this scrum and it it was in front of our our um, our bench players and our you know and uh, we just I kind of just gave them a, a look at them and they just just gave it to me and said Nella this is it and I was I'll offer everything I can in this scrum and and somehow we got it and um, yeah me and him did we all did it so. And uh, Fletty, being involved in that, like that, on debut, I mean, it probably doesn't get much special than that. Has it all sunk in yet? For all we're having yesterday? Uh, not really, mate. Um, yeah, still uh, trying to get a hold of all the emotions and, and um, sort of come back to reality. But, um, yeah, just really grateful that I was able to do it alongside my good mate Nella here. And, um, yeah, we, we've come a long way from... Uh, Eating, eating um, five dollars. Twenty fourteen, yeah. <clears throat> in, so, can you just talk about that journey that you guys have gone through together, starting out in fourteen and then being able to come on at the end and win a game for the Wallabies? Uh, yeah, so I grew up um, in in Brizzy here and played most of my rugby here through school and then club rugby and stuff, and um, ended up in the the Reds wider squad and whatnot. And um, lo and behold. Tong and Thor was on his way to the Reds. Um, didn't have very much English at that time, and um, still, right? <laughs> yeah, still. He thinks he can talk well now, but um, and I was actually taught Tongan uh, first before English from my parents, although I was born in Australia, and uh, so naturally, yeah, we sort of gravitated towards one another and um, just hit it off a bit, yeah. Well, Lady, congrats on the on the debut, mate. How um how did it feel out there? Like you obviously only had 15, 20 minutes, but did it feel like it was up up a few notches from um from playing for the force? Yeah, definitely, mate. It's um you know obviously a, a massive step up, and um that 15, 20 minutes felt like eighty for me to be honest. <laughs> um, but obviously the the game was in the balance there, um and um. I had a role to play and that was my focus going on there was just to try and execute my job as, as best as I could. And, and Nella, can I just ask with, with Alan leaving, do you, do you feel like you're ready for the additional 
workload playing 50 to 60 minutes a week rather than the 20 or 30 you've been playing for the last month or so? Um, yeah, I like to think I'm ready to you know, go. I, um, not sure what they're going to do this week. You know, we've got Holmes here, we've got Afroba and all those guys here. So if they, you know, pick me to start this week, I'll, I know I'll be ready to go. You know, is it 40, 50, 20 or 10? I think I'll, I'm sure I'll be ready to go. And can I, I know, have, you been, um, have you been frustrated by having to sit on the bench for mm. you know, more than half the games for this past um, you know, month? No, not really. You know, I, uh, Dave Rennie and then the coaches, they know what they're doing and they think this is what's best for the team. And, um, you know, I just have to, to trust them. You know, if they think that Ellen uh, starting is uh, what we, what's best for us, then, you know, then so be it. And I'm just happy to, you know, get the opportunity to come on and, and play because there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, dying to, to get the opportunity to, play, to put in the jersey. So I'm grateful. So if it's if it's me starting or coming off the bench, I'm I'm just happy to do my job. So many yeah, like, yeah, sorry, you go. Now, can I just ask you? Um, obviously, the players' performance was was pretty spectacular last night. Would you be happy to see? Like, obviously, James James said before the game that he might be available for selection this week, but would you be happy to see Quaid, um, I suppose, retained given the way he sort of steered the team around the park? Especially when it was there to be one last night? Nah. Quaid on the bench put me a 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put that in the headline. Thank you, if we want to lo lose straight away. <laughs> if you want to win by 25 points. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, mate. Yeah, he's he done well, really well last night. And um, hopefully, um, I'm sure I've done enough to, to play again this weekend. So. And maybe a corner, I don't know. They're both good teams, so whoever start, um, yeah. Now, you talked about how Quaid has um, changed. I mean, what have you seen that's been the biggest change in him? I just think he's a lot more calm now. And um, yeah, that's all I can say. He's a lot more calm. He knows what he's doing. He's controlled the game better. and. Uh, I just know when I first came into the Reds, there was a lot going on uh, off the field with him, and from you know five years later, he's he's a lot more mature and um, and you can have a, a good conversation with him because you know, uh, yeah. And one for you, Faletti. I just you know, do you, is there a sense in the Wallabies camp that the hooker jersey is wide open? Um, obviously, Blau ran into a bit of disciplinary trouble last night. You know, do you kind of sense that there's, there's an opportunity there for you? Um, not necessarily in that respect, but like we all get along really well as, as hookers, although we compete against one another. And um, it's all about pushing one another to, to be our best versions, um, to be the best version of ourselves. And that's what's going to be best for the team. So. Whoever at the end of the day gets the nod to, to run out on the on the Saturday, um, we're all doing our best to, to drive one another. Is Brendan still injured? He had some kind of maybe neck injury or something, did he? Or what was the story there? Yeah, he's um he has two heavies. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still yeah, he's still injured. Um in a few more weeks. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Um, Sorry. Yeah, Pallet I just wanted to ask you, mate. Um, I think you had a pretty good uh, skill from a mall during that um, that game. And could you just give us a, an idea what it's like uh, um, trying to defend and, uh, the South Africans' mall um, and, and how important it is to try and, um, I guess, uh, shut that down to um, to repeat against South Africa again on Saturday? Today? Mate, it's a, it's a big task, to be honest. And <laughs> then... Uh, they're huge humans, um, but yeah, I guess you just got to try and take them apart early on, win the first three seconds, and um, I guess just just stay in the fight because that's uh, that's the only way you're going to try and have a chance of stopping them big boppers.